What's going on YouTube? Bar to the double E dash to the Z-O-N coming at you once again. It's been a little while since I made a video and uh, to be honest, all of my like last two or three videos uh, have been uh, basically rant videos or just me uh, voicing my disgust with uh, Nintendo's current trajectory and uh, you know everything that they're doing or, or not doing. Uh, and, uh, and I still feel like that uh, at this point in time, man. However, uh, you know, it's, it's funny because my main gripe with them has been that they're not doing anything. We're sitting here since probably late 2019 without any significant announcements or releases except for Animal Crossing. Don't give me Paper Mario or Origami King. That is not a major announcement. That is not a major release. Animal Crossing was the only real one, and it blew the doors off of everything sales-wise. And it's a great game. I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, when I first got it, probably a week after it launched, uh, I played it for like a good month and a half straight, like compulsively addicted to it. And then I lost my interest, uh, uh, you know, shortly after that, and then jumped back into it after some of the new summer updates were happening and all that. And I'm sure I'm gonna jump again now in fall and in winter just to see when, how things change and how evolve, how they evolve. That's that's the kind of game it is. So great game, man. And and uh, but that, but really, that's the only the only big thing that they've done. You know, we're sitting here about to go into September of 2020. The year's almost gone, you know, and, and they haven't done anything. Uh, announcements that have come out for the Switch this year have been, I mean, really just a, a bombardment of either Wii U ports, which you guys know how I feel about that. I understand the business uh, aspect of why they want to bring that over. But I'm asking everybody to, <coughs> excuse me, to understand the gamer side of it, which is what I'm coming at it from. I don't care that it makes good business sense because I already bought those games years and years ago. Um, you know, so a, a lot of people, you know, they harp on that. Uh, the Switch is doing so well, and it is. It is the number one selling console by far. Uh, it vastly outsells PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on a week-to-week, -week, month to month basis. Has been doing so for the better part of the last two and a half years. Um, that's great business-wise, but like I said, what does that do for the gamer? Like, if you go back and you look at 2017, they were having such a freaking amazing year. I don't, I don't even know if we'll ever see a year like that again in the history of video games. I mean, bro, they launched with the greatest game of all time, in my opinion, with Breath of, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Less than two months later, they had Super uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. A month after that, they had um, ARMS. A month after that, they had Splatoon 2, and so forth. And then, you know, at the end of the year, they had Mario Odyssey and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It was just Boom, boom. But, but, but you see what I'm saying? It was Nintendo making these games. Yeah, Monolith made the uh, Xenoblade, but that's a Nintendo exclusive. You know what I'm saying? But everything else was Nintendo's first party. Just bam, bam, breaking down the doors of the industry. 2018 wasn't as great as that, but it was still very good with a, with a shitload of amazing games that came out. And then the first half of 2019 was all right, and then it's like it started to die down. And now we are where we are. And I know, you know people can say, you know, COVID-19, uh, the pandemic, this and that. Uh, I understand that. I understand that that slows everything down. Uh, and you have, I mean, it's not just Nintendo. You have, you know, Halo, Infinite, Microsoft's biggest game delayed until 2021. Well, uh, PlayStation 5 had a, a, another one of their exclusives, if I'm not mistaken, last week. I forgot which one it was. I think it might have been Kenna, which looks awesome. Uh, cancel, uh, not canceled, sorry, not canceled. Uh, delayed uh, as well. So I understand that this affects everything. But it's like, man, you guys had to have been working on stuff way before the pandemic hit. You had to be close to completion on, on things. I mean, to not even at least show us a little something. Yeah, maybe this is coming out later than we wanted to, but we wanted to show you what's in the pipeline. Look what we got on this game. Look what we got nothing. We haven't gotten anything. So you can say the pandemic, but I can also say, yeah, but come on. Like, it, it Doesn't it seem like Nintendo was the only one, or not the only one, I'm sorry, but Nintendo was the one who was the least prepared to jump into this situation, to adapt to the current situation and work from home and all that? It seems like it to me. Again, I don't want you guys to think this is another RAM video because it's not. This is actually a good Nintendo video. Um, this, uh, yesterday, Friday, uh, I, uh, you know, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, getting ready to go to work, like I usually do, told the kids, hey, get out of bed, go brush your teeth, get ready, I gotta drop them off, drop you guys off at your mom's house, uh, and make it to work, and so I'm sitting on the shitter, <laughs> literally, and I'm looking at my phone, going through Facebook real quick while I'm doing my morning constitutional, and I'm just there, like, you know, scrolling, and then I'm on Facebook, and, you know, on Facebook, you can follow, you know, communities and groups and clubs of, you know, anything that may pique your interest. For me, obviously, I'm going to follow a lot of video game-related content, and that's what I was looking at. Uh, and it was a community for one of my favorite games of all time. And it turns out that this game is now coming to the Nintendo Switch. And without further ado, the game is Jurassic World Evolution. 
This is what the fuck I'm talking about. Now, yes, technically Nintendo, this is not a Nintendo announcement. This is Frontier announcing it for the Switch. So Nintendo still hasn't really done anything. But to get this kind of game on their console, to me, this is the type of shit I want to see. Again, I, I understand that this is an older game. This game came out in 2018, about two years, a little, little bit less than, or right around the two-year mark. Um, but it's not a game that came out seven or eight years ago. And it's not a game that came out on the GameCube era. This is a game that's cr relatively current gen. Uh, and it's a big time graphically demanding game. So to get it to run on the Switch is just amazing. And when I saw the trailer for this game on the Switch, I'm like, dude, if that's Switch footage that they're using, that looks amazing. Okay, so that is just a, that is great, a great announcement. I am thrilled. I will triple dip straight the fuck up. And not, not really triple dip because I bought it full price for the PlayStation 4 when it when you know around launch time. Then I got it for free with through games with gold on my Xbox One. But man, to have it on the go, this was one of those games, man, that back in the day, well not back in the day, you know, in 2018 when I bought the game, I played it and I was like, in my mind, I was like, I don't think the Switch can handle this game, but if it could. This would be magnificent on the Switch. This would be a great game to have portable because it's one of those management type games. Building your park, checking in on it, and with the sleep feature on the Switch to go in and out of your game flawlessly. Nigga! I, I am thrilled about this. It, it has been a long time because I've had anything good to say about the Switch. Uh, but this, this announcement, it's called Jurassic World uh, Complete Edition. So the Switch is going to get this beast of a game and all of the DLC that's ever come out for it all on one cart or all in one digital download from the eShop. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, dude. And it, it's so funny because it's almost a reverse of, 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 you remember when the Wii U was out, right? Wii U, when Wii U launched. One of the major third-party games that was there was Mass Effect. Now, I don't remember if it was Mass Effect 1 or 2. I don't think it was 3. I think it was 1 or 2. Uh, but it was just one game, a Mass Effect game. And for 60 bucks, you can get that one Mass Effect game on the Wii U, but in that same month, the entire fucking trilogy uh, launched for 60 bucks on PS4 and Xbox One. So, or PS3, I'm sorry, PS3 and Xbox uh, 360. So why would you pay 60 bucks for one game when you can pay 60 for the entire trilogy on another console? This is kind of the flip side of that. I bought it with my own money, complete full price on PlayStation Store. And then I went and paid five bucks here, 20 bucks here, five bucks here for all the DLC, most of the DLC anyways, down the line of this game's history. And now Nintendo fans are getting the whole fucking package given to them for 60 bucks on November 3rd, which is funny because that's election day. <laughs> that's fucking amazing. But anyways, uh, yeah, man, I I'm happy about this announcement because, dude, it's, it's the type of game that, that I don't want to say adds credibility because it's not that the Switch library needs credibility. The Switch library is stacked. You know, it's just... Like, if you're looking at it from launch till now, it's it's top-heavy. It's stacked at the front of the life cycle. And right now, where we're at, it's a Nintendo drought, straight up. That's why I'm, I've been so angry with them lately. But, you know, the, the library doesn't need credibility. But what this adds is, is it's not even, it's, it's even more variety, but it's just, it, the best way I can say it is, like, it, it adds a little bit of mm to the library. Because this is a type of game that is like, that's like Doom. And that's like Skyrim, or that's like Mortal Kombat 11, that you're like, I don't think the Switch can handle these games, and then it does, and it's a, and it's a great port. That's what I want to see. I want to see how this game runs, because if this game runs decent, if this game runs, you know, not super laggy, if the performance is up to snuff, I am I am double dipping. It literally will be double, because I didn't pay for the Xbox One version, but still, I have, I'll have it on all three consoles. And I guarantee you, as much as I put in 500-something hours on the PS4 and Xbox One combined... I'll double that up on the Switch. I can guarantee you that right now. That game on the Switch? Listen here. <laughs> Dude. But, yeah, so this is a great announcement, man. It's finally good to see something uh, happening for the Switch. Uh, and I keep going to that, that same uh, Jurassic World community on, uh, on Facebook, and everybody has nothing but positive shit to say. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Jurassic World Evolution on the go. Oh, my God, all the DLC. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. Now, you know, and, and, like, and, and talking about Nintendo, man, you guys got to understand, you guys have seen my last few videos. I've basically been at the point where I'm ready to like disregard them as a game maker. I, I, it's been that bad. But, you know, I, I like, how can I say it? Like, they're always going to be in my heart, number one. I'm always going to be pulling for them. But I, I just call shit real. I call shit the way I see it. So they have been horrible this year to the point where I don't even want to associate with them. I'm just like, ugh. 
But when I see something like this happens, or happen, it, I can't talk. When I see something like this happen, there we go, uh, it, it, it boosts my spirits. And it gets me back into the council because it's like, okay, you know, good shit is coming. So, I mean, in the last couple of days, to be honest, I've been getting back into my Switch pretty heavy. Like, I've, I've been going through a second playthrough of um, Luigi's Mansion 3. It's just such a fucking great game, bro. That, that, that's one of their... It, 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 just, you say the title, Luigi's Mansion 3, and people tend to underestimate that game, and it tends to get, like, overlooked. But it's one of Nintendo's big hitters on the Switch. That game is fucking... From the production value to the graphics to the, the, the puzzle solving, just the, pro the, the progression through the game, the Nintendo charm that's, that's sprinkled all over it. It's a fucking great game. I'm in my second playthrough of that, um, and I got back into playing Friday the 13th on the Switch. Um, funny enough, because of a, a video from um, a fellow YouTuber, uh, for those of you guys who might know, RGT85 was doing uh, one of his videos where it was, uh, you know, uh, games that he couldn't live with without, games that he can't live with without on the Switch, and Friday the 13th was one of them, and I was like, dude, it's funny, because when I first got Friday the 13th on my Switch, I was all over that. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was a perfect counterweight to have on my Switch compared to Dead by Daylight on my PS4 and on my Xbox One. Uh, and it's a great game. I got back into that, and I'm trying to level up and trying to unlock the other Jasons. Um, and I also got back into um, Starlink Battle for Atlas because uh, I never did beat that game. And I'm, I just having, I'm just having fun with that game in the sense of exploring its open world, space combat, planet to planet, and all that. And with the Star Fox content in there, it's awesome. So, you know what I'm saying? I am getting back into the Switch. I am giving the Switch its love. I never did stop playing it as much as I've hated its direction and as much as I've been calling Nintendo out. I, I still love the Switch. The, they're, where they're always going to win, you know what I'm saying? Even though I, I prefer my Xbox One right now over, over my Switch. And I prefer my PS4 over my Switch. Even though PS4, I, I technically haven't played it in months because I've been on the Xbox One. But you get what I'm saying? Those consoles are so similar that it's like, I prefer either one of them over the Switch right now. Even though that's been the case, I, I never have stopped uh, liking, uh, I never stopped playing the Switch. And the area where the Switch is always going to win is because of its portability. I've said it from the beginning of its launch on my channel till now. It's, that portability factor is priceless. You cannot put a price on it. That is their, their, their feather in the cap. That is their ace in the hole or ace in the sleeve, however you want to say it. That is their 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 money maker right there. Because like I said, like even though the third party games, like I said, on the Switch, there's really no reason to get them unless it's the type of game that you're either willing to sacrifice the high performance and all that and get it on the on the inferior console because of the portability, because that's the kind of game you want portably, or you're willing to double dip and get it for both consoles. But we all know that third party games a hundred percent of the time are going to work better and function better and better graphics, better resolution, better performance, everything on Xbox One or PS4. I have no reason to believe that Jurassic World Evolution on the Switch won't follow that trend. It will be the more the, the inferior version across all consoles. But if it plays, it, it, just like Mortal Kombat 11 and just like Doom, if it's good enough, if the visuals are there uh, as best as they can be, the frame rate's consistent, the performance is good, and it's a good playing port, that's all Nintendo needs with these kind of games. Because as much as I prefer my Xbox One and Xbox Live and Game Pass is fucking awesome. Uh, as much as I love all that, you cannot put a price on having a, a piece of machinery with you that is so light and portable that allows you to play games like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, Smash Brothers, Starlink Battle for Atlas, Doom, Skyrim, Wolfenstein, Mortal Kombat 11, Jurassic World Evolution, Smash Brothers, all these big AAA experiences from first and third party. Yeah, albeit the inferior version, but if the, if the studio that's doing it does a good job, then you can have some really good ports on the Switch. Of course, it'll still be the inferior version, but who cares if you can play it on the go and enjoy it? So that's the thing. I, I look at it like that. They're always going to win with that, man. Uh... And the other thing about it I've been thinking is like, yeah, I've been upset with them, and, and I still kind of am, but uh, I get that upset, and I get that hot, because I care, because I fucking, I, Nintendo is, has been me, I've been Nintendo since, since I picked up a controller in, in the late, late 80s, early 90s, you know what I'm saying, so uh, I care, that's why I get that way, but it's like, I have to come to grips and accept the fact that Nintendo no longer makes consoles. Because truth be told, they really don't. And, you know, like, the Switch is te technically their home console. It's a hybrid. But let's be honest, people. Let's be honest. How is everybody playing it? How is it being pushed the majority of, of the time in Nintendo's own commercials? You know? The Switch is, is, is a handheld. 
It's a handheld that has a dock that allows it to play on your big screen. But at heart, in design, in concept, and everything, it's really a handheld. I, I don't like that because I like, I'm a traditionalist in that sense. I like my powerful home console under my TV. Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, whoever. But I want a console at home under my TV with all the features and all the functionality and all the power. But if this is the kind of handheld that they're going to be, pretty much the strongest handheld on the planet, the most powerful handheld on the planet, or up there anyways, for the, for the money that you're paying, giving you the ability to play AAA games on the go, that's the lane Nintendo's carved off for themselves. And I love that and I hate that. I love that because it shows, man, they, they, they're never going to be gone because they're always going to find a way to in, in, innovate and be around somehow. But I hate it because it's them kind of admitting they don't want to and possibly they can't compete power-wise. Even if they wanted to, I don't think they can. And I think this is an admission of it when, they, when, when, you, know, when you look at what the Switch is and their lane that they've carved out. They cannot compete spec for spec, you know, power, power game, online uh, functionality and all that with Sony or Microsoft. So they carve themselves out this unique lane so that they're always going to be relevant because whoever has an Xbox or a PlayStation or both still most of them want to switch also so they can have it on the go. You know what I'm saying? That's how they, they win. So even though I don't like that because it's kind of like Nintendo giving up and saying, you know, if we can't do it, we can't do what they do. So we got to do our thing a whole different way. Uh, and it's not the traditional console way. If that's what they want to do and that's what they're going to do going forward, then I can accept it. I, I'm, I'm just going to know that they're 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 not gonna be my console of choice. They're gonna be my portable device that I take with me everywhere. That's a fucking lifesaver because it allows me to play amazing AAA games wherever I'm at. But if I'm sitting at home and I'm in front of the TV, I'm playing my Xbox or I'm playing my PS4. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's just that's just the new reality that I got that I got to deal with. So, you know, all this talk with pandemic of the new normal, which is bullshit. It's all bullshit. But this is the new normal for me as far as uh, gaming. And over the last year, I've just been seeing myself like, dude, I love Nintendo, but I don't love their consoles. And, 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 and now the more I analyze and the more I look into it, it's because they don't make a console. They make a really badass handheld with their amazing games. And now it's the first time that this handheld allows you to play those games with the same level of detail and the same performance and everything as if, as if you were playing it on a console. So that's awesome. But you know it's going to be limited when compared to the Xbox or the PS4 or their competitors in general because of the form factor. So, I mean, that's where I'm at with it, man. I'm just coming to grips with the fact that, you know, they, they're, they, they're not in the console business any, any, anymore. They're still in the video game business, and they, they, they do make hardware, but it's, it's handheld. You know, it does have the ability to play on the TV, but when you hook it up and play it on the TV is when you can see that they cannot compare with, uh, with Sony or Microsoft and the overall package, you know, the graphics, the performance, the resolution. Yeah, their first-party games look amazing. But their first-party games are running at, you know, some will run at 1080p, but some will run at 900. You know, some will be 30 frames per second, some will be 60. You know, and it's like, you know, the new consoles that are coming out now, they're aiming for 4K 60. At least the Xbox Series X is. I know that. I don't know about the PlayStation 5. I don't, I'm hearing PlayStation 5 is having trouble reaching that. But, uh, you know, so, yeah, you can play it on the TV, but it's like, for me, it's my handheld. It, it's, it's, it's my handheld, and if I can continue to adjust to that reality, then... It's cool. It is what it is. The problem, the, the problem I'm always going to have is I miss my Nintendo. I miss who Nintendo has always been as far as I've been a gamer. And this new entity, entity that they are now, although it's awesome in its own right, it's like, damn, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the best way I can explain it. But like I said, this announcement is, is the type of shit I want to see for the Switch, man. Fucking Jurassic World Evolution, man. Are you insane running on that handheld? God damn it, man! It's, that, I, I'm, 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 no, November third, November third. I'm picking it up, bringing it home, watching my boy Trump win, and then playing it after the, we find out the election results. But November third, launch day, I'm getting it. That's and, and I want to get the cart. I want to get the physical cart because I think a game like that's gonna be a big ass download and a big ass install. And my 128 cart is maxed out. I'd be archiving, deleting, re-downloading, and all that games because I don't, I don't want to pay money to buy a, a bigger SD card right now. Even though you can find some for cheap, it's just like, ah, I'll hold off on that and I'll just shuffle shit around. But if I can get it on the cart, that's minimal, that's minimal data being installed into the actual system memory or the, or the SD card. And plus, I want that cartridge. Though. I want to see what that cartridge is going to look like and the, the cover art and all that. So, 
Uh, that's awesome. And that, that, that gives me a little bit more um, hope and hype for the Switch. Uh, like I said, I've been playing it a lot lately, man. I've been playing it a lot, man. Friday the 13th, NBA 2K20, uh, Battle for Atlas, starting Battle for Atlas, and Luigi's Mansion 3 right now. I'm trying to go through that shit. I might jump back into Astral Chain and try to finish it. It's just, truth be told, Astral Chain is awesome, but it, it just, there's something about it that it just doesn't click with me. So I, it's very, it's a, as great as it is, you know, action wise and all that, it's it's a, it's just a very forgettable game for me. Like, I end up like not not wanting to to um, to go back into it. But I, I'm gonna try to do it because I want to finish it. Because I heard now that there's rumors that a sequel might be coming out. So let's see. But like I said, man, the Switch is doing this thing, man. I'm I, I don't like haven't liked the direction Nintendo's going in for a while. But if I can wrap my mind around it and this new way of thought, that, hey, listen, bro, it's just they, they don't make consoles anymore. They, the Switch is a handheld. They, you can play it on the TV if you want, but really it's a handheld. But it still has a bunch of awesome games. You just can't expect from it what you would expect from uh, Sony and Microsoft. You know, it is what it is, man. But I am enjoying it. I'm going to continue to enjoy it. And, uh, and yeah, man, this uh, Jurassic, World Evo- Jurassic World Evolution Complete Edition. All that DLC on that cart. It's not. It's not even a fuck. And you know what's gonna happen, though. You know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be the cart, but then it's gonna be it's, it, because the game is so big. I just remember because I haven't bought a Switch game in a while. It's, there's gonna be a partial download also. You're gonna see. Whatever. You gotta deal with it. with the kind of system it is. So, but man, Jurassic World Evolution on the Switch is is that's a game changer for me. That just that that just me. And I know it's not for everybody. You know, people will probably seeing this video probably like, well, why the fuck does he even care about that? We don't give a shit about that. Just like Reason, like, you didn't give a shit about all the Wii U ports. Yeah, you're right, I didn't. You know, because I have them already. <laughs> but you guys might not care about this, or some people out there might not care about this, but for me, this is the kind of shit I want to see uh, Nintendo able to have on their console. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, I'll be able to line up third-party titles that I have on the Switch, even though I tend to buy my third-party titles on Xbox or PS4. But I, I, I by, by the time this is done, I'm going to have Skyrim, Doom, Fucking just don't, don't stop calling. Uh, Skyrim, Doom, Mortal Kombat 11, Starlink Battle for Atlas, NBA 2K20, Jurassic World Evolution, Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. It's not a bad fucking lineup for third party, man. So, you know, like I said, man, it's just you gotta temper your expectations with Nintendo, man. That that's something that I gotta get used to because to me they they were always the champs. So, anyways, man, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, November third, I think it's third. It's either second or third, but I'm pretty sure it's third. Jurassic World Evolution Complete Edition hits the Nintendo Switch. Get that, boy. God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Peace.